Well, we've popped up the road from the festival site to talk to the comedian and the actress from Hollyoaks and absolutely fabulous Helen Ledra. Good to talk to you, Helen. Oh, it's lovely to be here. And here we are in the shadow of the castle at Hay, which is overlooking the town. And Helen, I'm particularly keen to talk to you about a new prize you're launching for female comedy writers. Why do we need it? This is about rewarding uh, literature, wit, the power of wit. And we're already seeing that women are taking much more central stage it's still not enough yes there are some uh, very good funny fiction books about to be published next year uh, by uh, some very clever women so this is the right time to have a morale boosting awareness not to exclude men it's not one of the separatists we're going to have male judges but it's highlighting a new growing genre um, of literature I mean is the obvious thing to do it's just the next stage would it help if there was a quota of female panellists on television quiz shows? Well, the quota debate is quite an interesting one because some people say, why should I be called upon just to add up the numbers if I'm not an expert on Islam or whatever subject that they're missing an expert on? Um, I don't really... I'm not going to get into that one. Oh, go on. <laughs> well, I think... I just think um, if you're good at what you do, uh, you should be required to have a presence on television. If I want to go on a panel, I want to want to go on that panel. I don't want to face a gladiatorial sort of male oppressive atmos because they've... Uh, that's their comfort zone. Um, sometimes although of course they would deny that so I think they've been allowed to be comfortable with the lack of women so it's it's both ways I think if the right people are in the right job the atmosphere will be the best it can be and it's not quite right at the moment but I don't lose sleep over it I'm much more interested in writing books and creating comedy literary prizes things I can do rather than concentrate and be sort of bitter about the things I can't change you've enjoyed considerable success with your first novel losing it nominated for a comedy fiction prize is this a, a new career for you it's a new world but it isn't a surprise because I've always written my own sort of comedy material so at this age I can't wait to write the next one I'm really enjoying it and if people say they laugh out loud on the bus reading it well what's not to like about it Helen Ledger, we're really grateful for your time. Good to talk to you. Many thanks and much more from us from Hay during the rest of the day.